What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this eye look for you guys. Actually, I'm doing the whole face, not just the eyes. I'm really excited because I'm using a new product. So NYX actually released their ultimate palettes. These are the multi-finish palettes. So what these are is you get four shades in three different finishes so you have mattes shimmers and your like metallic -y glitter ones you guys will see in the tutorial my thoughts on it i kind of do like a first impression almost so if you guys haven't already please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave also don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you guys can get notified every time i upload a video to the tube also don't forget to follow me on all of my social media you guys can find me on snapchat instagram twitter Facebook, all of those things, they're always linked down in the description box. And sometimes I put my usernames somewhere around here. I don't know, they just float around sometimes. And if you guys are curious to see how I got this look, then let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so to start off, I'm gonna be using the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer, and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids. So in order to set that, I'm actually gonna go into my Pure Cosmetics um, this is the Contour Diaries Contour Kit. So I'm actually going to go in with a flat brush and I'm going to take the banana shade that's in this palette and I'm actually just going to press this onto my lid. So like I said, we're really just going to kind of dip into this. I don't really know what look I'm going for, but I might do like a halo-y eye. These don't have names of the colors at all, but I'm going to dip into this matte purple shade right here. Um, we'll see how they come off with brushes. I have swatched these. So I'm going to go in with this Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. This is an E40. So I'm just going to start blending out the upper crease a little bit just so we can kind of diffuse the product. I might go in with like a very light transition shade. Um, I might take a little bit of this palette, which is Warm Rust, and I might take a little bit of this kind of transition shade-ish, um, but I think it will look nice. So I'm going to apply that to the upper crease, and I'm using an E27 blending brush by Morphe. All right, I want to go in with a lid shade now. I am going to take a flat brush, and I'm going to take my Sigma E56 shader brush. I'm going to go into the shimmer shade in this palette, which is sort of like a deep purple shade. And we're just going to pop that right into the center. It's just a shimmery shade. It's not crazy I'm going to go into the metallic shade for the purple, which is this beautiful, light, lilac-y color. And this one I might actually have to spray some, like, setting spray to get what I want. Since this shade is not as light as I want, I want to take this pink shade right here. Um, it's sort of a metallic-y pink with a little bit of like pink purple reflex in it. You guys know me. This is not a sponsored video, I promise, but I'm going to be using the NYX Liquid Matte Eyeliner. All right, so now that my eyes are kind of finished, I'm going to go ahead and start on my face. So I'm first going to start off with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. You guys know that this is like a staple in my routine. Right, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Primer, and I'm just going to pop that onto my face face mainly on my cheek area for foundation today I'm gonna to be using a foundation that I haven't used in years if you guys follow me on snapchat you guys would have seen this I talked about it for a little bit this is the benefit hello flawless foundation I have not used this in years so mine is in the shade on um, all the rage beige so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop some of this onto my hand and then I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend it out Yes, this is the Beauty Blender. It's my favorite one. It's the light purple one. I don't remember what it was for. I don't even know if they still sell this one. So I'm going to pop some of this onto my hand here. And actually, it's still kind of dark on me. And I'm going to pop this onto my face. All right, for concealer, you guys already know that I love my Tarte Shape Tape. It's practically the only thing I ever use these days. And then, of course, I'm going to pop that onto underneath my eyes. 
Well, this one is in the shade light medium, but I'm also going to apply a couple drops of the light sand. I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend out the center of my face first. And then I'm going to go in, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to take the pointed side and I'm going to start blending that in too. And before we move on to powder, I'm actually going to cream contour. I'm using the Pure, Cosmetic, Pure Cosmetics Cameo Contour Stick and this is in the shade medium. I'm going to pop that onto my cheekbones here. Here, the contour my nose just a little bit. So I'm going to take the Laura Mercier setting powder. You guys know this is one of my favorites. I'm going to take some of that powder and I'm going to press that right underneath my eyes. I'm also going to take some leftover powder here and kind of powder over my face. Now I'm going to go into the Pure Cosmetics Contour Palette. Again, this is the Contour Diaries. How cute is this palette? So I'm going to take the color Secret, which is this cool toned kind of shade. And I'm taking the Kevin Aquan Contour Brush. So I'm going to be bronzing up my face now. I'm going to be using the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm Cosmetics. Taking the Bare Minerals Full Flawless Face Brush. It's super fluffy and I really love this for bronzing. I'm going to take my MAC palette and I'm going to grab a blush. I'm going to take a little bit of Harmony and a little bit of Prism. And I'm going to pop that onto my cheeks. I'm going to grab this RC Cosmetics. It's like an angled flat brush. And I'm going to go back into my smokescreen palette and I'm going to pop that onto my lash line. So I have two eyeliners here that I really kind of want to use. They're both by Makeup Forever. These are the Aqua XL pencils. And I'm really leaning towards this kind of lilac-y purple. This is in the shade M92, so it's a matte eyeliner. And I'm going to pop this into my lower waterline. Alright, so there's not really like a sh light shimmer shade that I want to use on the brow bone. I'm going to take a little bit of this lighter shade from the Sugar High palette. I'm just going to take some of that and pop that onto my brow bone. I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics Backlight Highlight palette and this is what it looks like. I'm going to take this color Illusion. I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to pop this onto my inner corners. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Volume Flash. I'm also going to pop some of this on top as well. So for lashes today, I'm going to be using the Kiss Blooming Lash Set, and this is in the shade, shade. This is in the style Daisy. So I'm going to take the other highlight palette. This is the Spotlight Highlight um, from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to go ahead and take this shade, which is Ethereal. And I'm going to take that onto this e.l.f. small tapered brush. I'm going to take this Makeup Forever highlight. Um, this one is in the shade 01, as I said before. And I'm going to take that same brush. And we're going to pop this onto our cheek. I'm going to take my MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. This is just one of my favorites ever. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to... Just kind of line my lips a little bit. I'm going to be using this lipstick. This is the Perfect Pout by San uh, by Santa Monica. This is Perfect Pout and this is in the shade Santa Monica. And this is by Kaplan MD. I'm also going to take this NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray because I don't want to be so matte. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I love coming up and creating this look for you guys. It turned out way better than I actually expected it to. Definitely let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comments below, as well as let me know if you guys have tried any of these palettes or if you are planning on buying any of them. It's a really cool concept. I don't think I've actually ever seen anybody come out with a multi-finish palette like this. Don't forget to leave me your video requests as well in the comments because I'm always looking to see what type of videos you guys want to see. And again, I want to change up some of my content here on my channel and I've been trying to do that. So definitely let me know what you guys like to see. Also, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and week and weekend. I don't know when this is going up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.